Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for February 20th, 2024, from 1 John chapter 3, The Incarnation and Atonement, Testing the Spirits in Light of Christmas. Previously, we heard John cautioning believers about accepting anything that they hear, even though it may sound spiritual. John refocuses believers and says, no, you need to test everything. You need to test it against God's word, emphasizing a strong discernment and critical thinking guided by the Holy Spirit, but all based upon God's holy word. So let's continue with John as he has a little bit more to say to us about this. From 1 John chapter 4, verses 2 and 3. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming and now is in the world already. So for this devotion... I'm going to be focusing on the fact that Jesus has come into the flesh from God. We call this the Incarnation, where God takes on human flesh and blood. We see the fulfillment of the Incarnation. We celebrate it on December 25th as we celebrate Christmas, where Christ was born of Mary, born in Bethlehem. But to be technically correct for a moment, God first takes on human flesh and blood nine months earlier. And we celebrate that day, March 25th. And it's called the Day of the Annunciation. The Annunciation of our Lord. When the angel Gabriel announces to Mary God's plan of salvation, that what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit, that is, God. God who is taking on human flesh and blood. And there's a good reason why I'm making such a big deal about this. John makes a big deal about this. We need Jesus to be true man and true God. Because the infant Jesus grows up. 33 years later, Jesus, being true man, true God, suffers and dies on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. If one denies the incarnation, then one also denies the atonement. Because only God can make the perfect sacrifice for our sins. And this is why John uses this in connection with the testing of the spirits. Because if you are not appointed, appointed to the events of God taking on human flesh and blood, that is the incarnation. And if you're not appoint, pointed to the atonement, where Jesus suffers and dies on the cross for the forgiveness of sins, then you are not appointed, appointed to God. You are actually pointed back away from God to the devil. So if the pastor you are listening to on a regular basis does not talk about the incarnation and atonement, and would rather talk about other things, things of this world, be very careful. Because John is saying, this is what we need to realize in order to test the spirits. Anyone who does not point to the incarnation and atonement is the Antichrist. They could be preaching on the Bible on a regular basis. But if they're not leading you to the Incarnation and to the Atonement, they're leading you astray. Because that is where the, whole, the Antichrist wants you to go. The devil doesn't want you to understand the Incarnation and Atonement. Because in those events, we have salvation. So, John states, it's already happened. The Antichrist has come into this world and is continuing trying to pull people away. So this should give Christians motivation to test the spirits 
and it should give Christians motivation to celebrate Christmas and Easter even more. Because in these events, we see our salvation. In these events, we see our Savior. In these events, we have eternal life. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.